Hello everybody and welcome to the inaugural episode of Blind Gaming, a series where I'm just gonna play a bunch of games that I own that I never got around to playing and they're very weird and bizarre games and today we're gonna be starting out with And Then There Were None, the novel by Agatha Christie that clearly was so great it just had to be made into a video game. So let's just play the video game. It was actually a great book, I just want to clarify that. That was a book I had to read like in middle school, I think it was. It was very... I don't remember anything about it. It was like so long ago since I read it. At this point, if it was middle school, probably like almost 10 years ago. Jesus, it's been a long time since I read that book. Also, look at these them graphics though. This is the Wii game, by the way, in case you're curious. Why do you look like a vampire? You got some wicked sideburns too. And the, like the boxing his face. I am not a fan of these NPCs so far. Who am I playing as? I can't move. Do I have to like... How do I do anything? I should I'm trying, but no button is letting me move. Whoa. I don't know how I did that. You know what? Is this going to be like a point and click adventure? Do I not need the nunchuck? Do you actually not move in this game? Is it just... Oh my gosh, it is a point and click adventure. Oh, that's just what I've wanted. A point and click Agatha Christie adventure. Who doesn't want that? Uh, oh, we're at the beach. I don't think that's where my car is, but I want to go there. There are too many paths in this game. I just want someone to die. That's really all I want. As soon as I get... Ooh, that's a, an animal of some sort. This is great. This is what I wanted in mind, then there were none. This is bringing shame upon Agatha Christie and her amazing novel. She must be rolling in her grave right now if she's dead. I'm assuming she's dead. I feel like this book was written a long time ago. She could be alive. I don't know. Oh, I found someone. I found a guy. He's just walking along in the, yeah. fucking in the middle of the rain outside. I'm sorry. Did You have, like, really green hair, Mr. Marston. Ah, uh, that's funny. Oh, I, there's, like, dialogue I can pick. Uh, strange time for... It is a strange time for a walk, to be fair. Oh, thank you for saying it. All right, let's keep exploring. So this is my mansion, right? Oh, there's a cutscene. Oh, God. Don't look at him from that angle, please. Who and who goes to sleep for what? Who are you talking about? Oh, throughout and then there were none. Sections of play will appear requiring the use of the Wii Remote. These segments are not specifically explained. They're not explained. However, the method used for the Wii Remote in these instances is part of the puzzle. So, what you're telling me is that figuring out the controls is a part of the puzzle of the game? Is that the, I just want to make sure we're very clear that that's the message you're sending me. The one thing it said is like I can turn doorknobs, which is like a very weird thing to do in video games. Like, it shouldn't be part of a puzzle turning doorknobs, but that's okay. Oh, there's like a stair cutscene. Anytime I see a cutscene, I'm assuming I'm doing something right. This is so annoying. These are some annoying controls. <laughs> Why do I have to turn it every time? Oh, can I go through their, like, luggage? Oh. Well, that would have been fun. Thanks for taking away the one fun thing in this game for me, Agatha Christie. I like, this game looks like it was designed by Agatha Christie. Like, if she was to design a game with no prior gaming knowledge, this is what I would expect the game to be like. Oh, I can peek through the pee hole? Or the, the pee hole? I hope I'm not peeking through the pee hole. Oh, God, it's this guy. Everyone's favorite old man in the white suit. Everything about him is white. He could not be a whiter man. Like, unless he was wearing white shoes, I guess, and that's about it. I, like, feel bad spying on him. That was weird. I don't really want to do that. So I guess I'm just supposed to meet all the guests, right? Is that it? That's all I'm doing right now? That's cool. Well, this is a nice looking room. I'm assuming I'm just looking for another guest. Is that what this is? Is there anything I could spy on? Ooh, I found something. Oh, snap. I just got busted. Where did you even come from? Always a bent copper. Right, Fred? Oh, are you accusing me of stealing? I'm now wearing a hat. Not my brother. I've what an intriguing story we're getting here. This is some great plot. I may now have that chance. Maybe, Maybe if you guys really care about the plot to Agatha Christie's and then, then there were none, I have a great idea. Just read the fucking book. I really want your journal though. Oh, you want to fight, bro? I'll fight you. I don't give a fuck. I have business in this room. You don't. Oh, what? What's your business in this room? What? What business could you possibly have in this room, Mr. Bloor? You're gonna jack your little ween off in here? That's fine, I'll leave, I don't care. I don't even want to be in here anyway. It's not that cool of a room. Seen better. My room's nicer. I'm in the bath. I just run into his bathroom. Fine, I'll hide in here. I'm just gonna take a shit on your toilet. How does that sound? Oh, 
Well, I guess I'm gonna come back this way. It's awkward. Like, I, uh, sorry, sorry, Mr. Blore, wrong door. I was trying to make a dramatic exit. Went out the wrong side. That's that's my bad. Really distasteful. Can I go in here? I have a feeling this door is gonna be locked because this looks like a door I really want to go it's into. Tightly locked. Oh, that one's tightly locked. It's different from the rest. That one is tightly locked. No, oh, what is this guy doing? Oh, oh God, he has a gun. Uh, that's weird. Why'd you bring a gun, good sir? Why are you just like practicing shooting your gun? You're a freak. Okay, he's the killer. I don't even care if he's not the killer. He's probably killed someone before. Wouldn't hurt to turn him in. Oh, I can go inside anyway. I mean, what's left to do? Oh, I'm tired. Wow, this game made me sleepy. It's like four in the afternoon and I'm already tired because of this game. That's cool. It's gonna be one of those games, isn't it? Oh, here's a big door. Please tell me it's not locked. Thank you. Maybe this is the right way to go. This mansion is like more complicated than any Zelda dungeon I've ever played through. Oh, it's the dining room. It's probably a good sign. Oh, am I supposed to go to the kitchen? Oh, please, please be unlocked. This game sucks. This game like really sucks. Cause it's just like me going to doors and just like having my fingers crossed that is not a locked door. And that I can just inevitably progress. It will never work, I tell you. We should never have agreed. Are these the Owens? Wow, she has a very tiny head. Like, proportional. Her arm is, like, bigger than her head. She is just the most hideous NPC I've ever seen. And that says something. Because this game has a lot of hideous NPCs. Oh, good. This is another bathroom. This is another bathroom. See how excited I am for the bathroom? I've never been more excited for anything in my goddamn life. Oh, it's soap. Oh, we're gonna, like, zoom in on the soap. Can I take the soap? No. Can I take anything? Or was I just like zooming in for fun? There's nothing to grab. Why could I zoom in here, game? Okay. No big deal. I won't question you anymore. Like my hands. I'm getting carpal tunnel syndrome from all the turning. Whoever thought motion controls was a good idea needs to just like never get involved in video games again. And it's not like motion controls are fine. I like stop making me twist my hands. Like I'm and my hands are starting to really hurt. And this game's bad. And it's no fun. I literally could not be less interested in your goddamn silk sheets, you old woman. It's the last thing I care about. Can I give you a hand? Please say no. Please say no. Oh, I said yes. Thank you, Mr. Narakot. You seem like a good sort. I'm sorry for your belly. I okay. I forgive you. Did you do it? Oh, thank God! I've never been more excited for a dinner bell. Wow, dude, you're like a scientist, you know that? You're really digging into these people in this house, man. You're so good. When does somebody die? I just want to watch someone die. Can we, like, hang someone? Or shoot someone in the head or anything exciting, please? Can I be the killer? That's all I want. Oh, you will. You're in this game now, buddy. You're going to hit a serious depression and will need to drink. Honestly, I don't really know much of anything. I was just a mermaid from the ocean. I don't really know much, except that I want to be in your world and have feet like you. I should come back later when the conversation has progressed some. Yeah, I guess that's a good idea. Okay, so what? Just go explore other people's rooms now? Oh, I can get the diary that the guy had. That sounds not fun at all. And I guess I'll do it because I'm just bored as shit. Which room was his? I don't remember which room his was. Why am I just stealing all this stuff, exactly? I feel like I'm just taking everyone's shit for, like, no reason. Code-breaking cipher? Is that what that says? Okay. No, we'll just let that go. That's fine. I got a turkey baster. A letter for Rogers. I got some weird stuff. I got lots of drink glasses for some reason. I am st What the hell? I- This game is just, like, asking me to go collect shit without, like, any rationale for why I'm collecting any of it. This is not how you design a game, guys. Okay, like I don't want to be rude. I get you're trying. Is this the bathroom? I'm just going into a bathroom again, aren't I? This place has like 12 bathrooms. Every room has a private bathroom. I need this in my house. God damn. I can't play this game anymore. I'm losing my mind. I'm actually losing my fucking mind. This game is so bad. It's so bad. Which room is the one? The girl. Which one is the guy that wanted to kill me? There's some guy that wanted to kill me. Is there a shoot myself button? Because I just want someone to die, and if it's me, that's fine. I'll gladly off my own head. At this point, I'll take whatever death I can get. <sighs> I feel like I've been in every single goddamn room. 
And I can't find the right room. Oh my god, I think I found it. I found it! I got his book! Thank you! Is this all I needed, right? I feel like that's what I wanted. I'm so disinterested in the story at this point. I don't care what anyone is saying anymore. It's kind of rude that... First of all, there's no food on their plates anyway. Like, what dinner are they eating? There's not even food on the table. There's nothing anywhere. They just have, like, salt shakers or whatever. Okay, can we just watch someone die? I told myself I was just going to go until someone dies, and that's all I want. Oh, no cut, no su I turned captions on for subtitles, and this is what we get. George Armstrong, that you did upon the 14th day of March, 1925, caused the death of Louisa Mary Clee. That you brought oh, damn. Oh, well, you guys are bad people. Stephen, June, 19 wow, this has really been dragging on for a really long time, hasn't it? You know, this was a lot more powerful when you read it in a novel. Have you anything to say in your defense? A oh, wonderful defense, lady. Oh, shit. Did someone die? Did it happen? Can I stop playing now? Yes! It happened! We did it! We made it! I'm sure she'll be fine. Certainly she'll be fine. She's, she has no pulse. She's not breathing, but I, I promise you, she'll be fine. Where was I? Was I just, like, hiding? Oh, I was probably eating my sandwich. That's what it, what it was. You know, people are going to get suspicious of me because I was the only one not in the room at the time. Ah, uh, whatever. You know what? I don't really want to save her life, to be completely honest with you. Narakot, I need my bag as soon as possible. No, no, no. We're not playing that game. We're done. We're done here. She's dead, and it's over. We won. This game sucks, man. I don't know why I played it. This was the first blind gaming I did, and it makes me never want to play a game blind again, ever in my life. That was atrocious. One of the worst point-and-click games I've ever played. But if you want to play it, that's fine. But honestly, just go read a book. Educate yourself, children, because this isn't worth it. This isn't worth your time, and it's not worth your money. It sucks. Save me, please. And if you liked, you can comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Please, you can just give me one like. I played this for... This recording has been going for 55 minutes. I played this for just over an hour, because I played, like, the intro and stuff. Whatever. Bye. I'm sick of this.